We've often mentioned the glove of death on Backyard Farmer, and actually we're not talking about a glove of death. We're talking about accurate placement of non-selective herbicides when you have those unique situations where a weed is intertwined like a viney weed in with a desirable ornamental or you're trying to get a, the herbicide placed where it might possibly come in contact and you want to avoid that with the desirable plant species. So to do this, we use two gloves. The first glove is impervious to water. You put the first glove on and then over the top of that, you put a cotton glove. That cotton glove is going to be your applicator. Anytime you're applying pesticides, whether it be herbicides, fungicides, or insecticides, you have to wear proper attire. In this case, I'm wearing long sleeves and long pants, and I'll be wearing gloves as we demonstrate this technique. You take a ready-to-use product that contains a non-selective herbicide, something that might contain glyphosate or something that might contain you know, high-strength acetic acid, whatever your choice is, obviously both will work to some degree. You spray that on there, you don't want to have runoff, you want to protect your skin, um, and that's why the impervious glove is underneath it. And you, don't, you want to wet the surface just enough so that you, when you place your hands on the non-desirable weed, you can wipe it across the surface. When you wipe it across the surface, you don't want to really tug on that weed. You don't want to detach the leaf that you're doing to it, because you're using, in the case of glyphosate, a systemic product. That product needs to translocate down into the weed and down into the root system. That's why the, you're doing this. If it was a weed you could easily pull, that's what we would suggest. So you wipe that on gently, you just pull on it enough that you get the leaf wet. Take a look at the leaf, it should have a little bit of a sheen to it, meaning you've let some moisture go into that, and then let the herbicide do its work. In the case of using something like acetic acid, which is a desirable organic option, you want to make sure you cover as many as the leaves as possible. You certainly could have used a paintbrush and, and a mixture, but then you're opening up a container, you're exposing yourself to the whatever it is you're applying, and this is a very safe and reasonable way to get the herbicide placed where you want it and not where you don't. Finally, cleanup is really critical because you don't want to dispose of these products in an un un environmentally friendly way, but what you do is you leave the glove on, you spray it down with the hose, and you let that residue fall down to a mulch bed or into bare ground because that's a legal deposition of the, of the product. Then you take the glove off, you're still wearing the impervious gloves underneath, you squeeze that glove out, put it out to dry, and you're ready to use for the next time. Don't use that glove for any other purposes, only for this specified, very particular method of putting down that herbicide. So that's how you use what people refer to as the glove of death. It's accurate placement of non-selective herbicides.